Governor Whitmer says she's taking a fact-based approach along with health care experts to find out what changes to the stay-at-home order might look like and when they could be implemented, saying she won't lift restrictions unless it's safe to do so. When we do start to re-engage, it will have to be very thoughtful and precise, mitigating risk to all and mitigating the risk of a second wave. But we will start to re-engage. We will have a plan. Today, she also announced layoffs hitting state departments. Those will last 10 days. Employees will retain health insurance and other benefits and will be automatically enrolled into the unemployment process. However, Whitmer says they will not cut the line of others who have been waiting for their unemployment checks. I've mentioned that I've made a lot of hard choices in the past six weeks. This was one of the hardest. But this is the right thing to do to ensure that we can continue providing critical services to the people of Michigan. Whitmer praised Michiganders on their efforts of social distancing, saying numbers of patients have declined. However, she is urging people to get tested. At this time, anyone with COVID-19 symptoms and any essential workers can get tested. Governor Whitmer is expected to give more detail to stay-at-home updates this Friday. We have all this information and more on our website, 13onyourside.com. In all, about 2,900 Michigan workers are going to be going on furlough. That's less than 1% of the government's workforce, but they say the governor says it will save them about $5 million.